Hello everybody. Welcome to the unboxing of the Resolve electric vehicle controller. So this is basically how it came. It did have a address label here which I've removed for obvious reasons because this is the internet. And we're going to get into this. Okay, so straight up, been very well wrapped. This took nine days to come from the other side of the planet, from Europe. I'm in Australia, so. Just tear it. Wow, well, I didn't, uh, didn't spare the bubble wrap. This is what you get. So, the instruction manual is all online. So this is what came in the box. Yep, that's everything. So, so this is for display. Two looms. What I can gather, one is for the battery, the other is for the motor, inverter, and charger. I'd say this one, to be honest, I don't actually know which one's which from here, but that is the unit. A lot smaller than I thought it would be. I've played with some other aftermarket ECUs before, and they have generally been much larger than this. Albeit that was a few years ago, so you can see the build quality is excellent. So, got these locking tabs. Unlocked. Seems to be unlocked. Not coming out, I don't want to break it. But all these connections. Everything is just so well done. And I mean, that's a fairly common Stanley knife blade. You can get for size comparison. So, it is tiny, it is very well made, like you can feel it, it's solid. Aluminium housing. For my first unboxing, I actually thought there'd be more to talk about from unboxings that I've seen on, uh, on YouTube, but I can't really talk much about this, but yeah, that is that is the Resolve EV controller. And uh, yeah, I just can't believe how well it's made for what, for what other companies are selling their controllers or their VCUs for. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting I was expecting something a little bit more basic, a little bit less refined, and this is absolutely for the money you pay. You know, I paid fourteen hundred Australian dollars, and then I had to pay another two hundred and eighty odd dollars of import fees once it hit Australia. Um, but overall, for sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars, and the fact that I can use the factory Nissan Leaf charger with this, this is excellent. Um, means I don't have to spend another two, three thousand dollars on an aftermarket charger and it controls everything using the stock Nissan parts. So yeah, this is awesome. So uh, also I'm, I'm assuming I haven't pulled it apart, I don't intend to. I assume once these four screws come out, you can uh, just open the case up. Isaac did tell me that it can be updated. I assume the update process, considering there's no, it doesn't no it doesn't look like there's any plugs on the outside of the unit, except for all these CAN bus wires. Some are just twelve, some are earths, etc. Um, I assume you'll have to take these four screws out and actually get to the board inside to update it. 
Um, I'm not sure what these wires are for. So I might double check the uh, documentation. Because I'm pretty sure you can hook up a little screen to it. I assume this is the plug for the screen. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can just go down to JCAR and uh, get that screen. So, yeah. Here is the Resolve EV controller.